Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to continue playing Achilles Legend Untold. This will be episode 2 I guess so... Uh, unfortunately lately I've been a bit busy so I didn't have like in a lot of time to record and all these things but uh, we just finished the project so basically I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna invest like 2-3 days just to finish this game. And after that I want to jump on to... Banishers, I guess. Let's see. Uh, last time when we played, I think we realized the numbers and the, the weapon tabs are not updating in like real time. Because, if, for example, let me show you again. I'm gonna do some tests on this thing, but for the time being, I just wanna play it. So, uh, let's check this. The weapon now is doing 73 damage, yeah? This one is doing 82, plus 10. So it's a plus 12. The green number is like telling you how better the weapon is compared to the one which you have now, basically. But if you go for dual wielding, that's... This now is, is saying like it's still... What? Yeah, so this one right now is saying it's like 82. This one now says it's like 58. And if you attack, this one now says it's like 57. I guess it's because it's on dual wielding, you know what I mean? And on the second one says 29. So. I'm not going to stress myself too much about it, because we're going to spend a lot of time just to realize numbering things. So that's why I prefer right now to play the game. Let's use them, because I was uh, enjoying these fast attacks. Uh, depending on what weapons you have equipped, the... Oh fuck, I'm going to die soon. Uh, depending on what weapons, weapons you have equipped, basically the attack speed and the movesets are like changing as well. Because for example, if you, you equip in the main weapon a axe and in the secondary, now we have like a slower attack. I guess the damage now is slightly better. But I'm not really a big fan of low movement so uh, as soon as we'll get like more weapons we can test a bit more you know what I mean uh, let me just see I wanna see what what's the energy consumption of what the fuck oh so this is like throwing bombs like poison I guess it's poison that cloud or sure it's poison Okay, I could dodge it, so that's fine. Let's see, if we stay in this, we get poisoned? Apparently not. I wanna see the con stamina consumption. Okay, so as soon as he's depleted... Be fair with you, these weapons... Uh, check the, the first attack on them. See, it's like a 360 cleave, basically. So keep in mind this, because if you run out of stamina and you spam the click, the first attack will be like this one. And you won't have like enough energy to do the second one basically to continue the, the combo, to chain the combo basically. But the thing is like you'll always have this, you know. So what I'm gonna show you now, look. I'm depleting the stamina, but look now basically I'm spamming click. But I'm always cleaving around me, you know what I mean? So I think that's the the best way. Because I tested the spears last time. I remember I played a bit with them. I didn't test them like holy, but we don't have like loads of weapons right now. So I'm not gonna waste like half an hour just to see the difference between them. I prefer to do it like when we'll have like plenty of weapons, you know, to switch in between them, to see exactly what movesets we have on them. And after that we're gonna... We're gonna see what we're gonna use, but for now, uh, to be fair with you, I'm really happy, uh, I'm, I'm really happy with them, you know. 
because they are fast. Die to this. So I can't really face tank him. Locking target. It's annoying. This guy is a hugger. He's uh you see? <laughs> he tries to, to hug me with his pinches like pinchers. Bro. Uh, skill skills wise I think I was going for yeah, for full full vitality. Yeah, I wanted to unlock this. Yeah, I remember. Because drinking potions right now, it locks you in a awkward animation. It's not like bad. But... It's not like the best. You know, because you stay like one second. This must be the entry you get like a... Yeah, like because you block for one second, you know, you cannot in move, you cannot do... You, you can move, but you are moving extremely slowly. And if some enemies are attacking you... I think the trade, you know, is not worth it because uh, you're gonna drink a potion and if two of them are hitting you, I guess you're gonna be like... Damaged like a lot and you need basically to just drink another one. And another thing which I spotted on this game is like, as soon as you try to drink a potion, make sure you have some distance in between them. Because it's not really worth it drinking potions, or make sure you kill them all, you know. Because if all of them are dead, you don't really give a shit, you know, you can, you can use your potion. These blue-eyed ones, they are like sick. They have like a... Is, they, they look like they are frenzy. They have a very fast uh, chain combo, like three, three hits in a row. Which can do a lot of damage and beside damage, when you get hit by a light attack or a heavy attack, doesn't matter. You're gonna be stunned lock for half a second to say so. And imagine now three fast light attacks we're gonna we're gonna lock you down you'll, be, you'll basically be stun locked for a while and if the second enemy comes joins the party you're gonna hit you again with like three attack and you're gonna be again stun locked for a while and uh, you can die quite easy I remember last time we when we checked the skills I was just, uh, I think we're gonna do a deathless run on this one because uh, it looks like vitality is is the be best attribute to invest into it. And from my point of view, I think it's pretty broke. And that's why, just to make it harder, I wanna go for a deathless run. Hopefully these skeletons won't kill us. See the potion, you are walking like slowly, but you are like blocked in that animation for one second. Ago. If we manage to drink the potions faster, maybe, maybe it will be like the time of using it will be like halved, so it will be like just half a second blocked in that awkward animation, so... It will give the enemy like a smaller window to attack us. I'm like just on autopilot. What is... Let's see the map. Oh, I missed something here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back. Because I, I don't wanna... I don't wanna do these things again. They These ones are looking like they are dungeons. So, basically... I think right now we are like on a instant. Ah, okay, it was here. 
My bad. I didn't saw this. I was just passing the stairs. And... It's good they have a map. So we can uh, check it. But yeah, I, I'm planning to explore this like fully, so I won't come for the second time into this one, you know. I don't want to do the content like two times, just if we start a new game class, but that depends a lot, you know. Because um, right now, to be fair with you, till this point the game is, is quite interesting. I don't mind it. We have like a variety of enemies. It's nice because we found actually the quest uh, that uh, Firtos guy, the blacksmith apprentice, sent us to get uh, the blacksmith tool from this dungeon basically. So. Yeah, we explored everything there. We need to. These skeletons are not like a big deal. They can be dangerous, I guess, in large numbers. And these blue eyed ones are like pretty, pretty insane, but if you just kite them and try to play like safe, I guess it will work. Uh, fighting enemies with shields apparently is pretty shitty in this game. Like I don't like as I don't like as they are like just I don't know. It's like they block too many attacks. You saw I, I was hitting them for two just, and sometimes depends on the angle. I guess I don't know what how's the blocking working. I know in the tutorial it was telling us we need to press control to block, but I don't know if it's the same with the the NPCs and their eyes like but sometimes he looks like he's not doing something special. They just get my attacks blocked, like you know. Sorry for my voice, by the way, I'm a bit uh, sick. Hopefully it will pass. So, let's see now. Let's move on with this. I'm curious what the main story really... Where the main story will take us. Apparently this one is full of skeletons. It's like pretty straightforward. This this first dungeon is like pretty straightforward. We don't have like different paths to explore and shit like that. It's just like um I think it's being the first one. It will keep it like basic, so we're gonna get familiar with with the mechanics and shit like that, you know. So I was like heavy attacking him. And he just blocked it. Okay, let's see this area here. Apparently when you see these eyes on the ground, I'm gonna show you on the on the next bit. Let me just kill them fast. Okay, so you see you can see the skeletons laying on the ground, so I guess they all rise up, yep. Oh yeah, this was the skill, I remember this. We unlocked it on the first episode. That skill is pretty useful, because you can knock closest enemies down, like. So if you get surrounded, I guess that's a very... Very good escape tool, you know, from shitty situations, like. Actually. 
Yeah, that, this is pretty easy to be fair with you. And now next next thing we're gonna happen, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and that was it with my death deathless run. So, but no, the game it, it it really looks pretty easy. Depending on, I'm not saying it's easy because uh, most of the time, as soon as I'm saying it's easy, I'm gonna die. You know. But um, the game looks easy. At least these weapons are like way too OP for uh, for this type of enemies. At least maybe if I'm getting stuck in between. Oh, have that drinking. It's good that one uh, knock me down. was ambushed by plenty of them so I'm trying to clear them first the skeletons and after that to fight with this statue guy this one looks uh, looks very slow it reminds me of the the first boss fight you know the tutorial guy the Hector or Paris brother or something like that yeah so you can still die pretty fast investing in uh, HP in vitality will be like the go for we already have like three skill points so leveling up it's quite easy in this game The idea of the weapons are creating. Okay, that was easy. Let's unlock this one. I think I saw another chest somewhere there. We have a new weapon, which uh, we should be should be fine. I, can open the chest. I didn't make any tests. Recording test before I run this. I hope the sound on the game It's fine and I hope my mic is recording Just as if this is some kind of passive It's a teleporter you can't most of the games have that it's good uh, they have that teleporter our uh, our guy was acting like what the fuck is that you know it's like just let's uh, let's see the skill points yeah so let's unlock this what was this one do you can choose to revive a hero at the location of their death ah okay yeah so basically with this you are uh, defiling death instead of dying you paid like uh 200 50 drachmas. Drachma is like the in-game currency. And you're gonna get revived. So I guess it won't count as a death. Now for my deathless run. I hope I'm not gonna get knocked. Like I'm not gonna get into this screen ever. You know. Because I'm planning to do like. I don't know why I think the game will be like easy to break from beginning if we invest like a lot of points in vitality we won't be like a one shot but wait apparently the collectible not the collectibles the the things which you can pick up from the map they are respawning as soon as you are like visiting a shrine or or maybe it was because we left the dungeon. Oh, this is a nice one. I think it's the first time we saw that. I was hoping him like to charge or have like some different... Bro, these fucking plants are so annoying. They are like hidden into your, in the environment, like blended, like fucking... They can, they can attack you. I need to dodge that shit, yeah, I knew about it. But... Yeah, so let's just... 
Actually, wait, because we got a new weapon. Yeah, that one is way better. So let's use that. 59 ATM. It's not really. Yeah, it is. I don't know what's the deal with that dark damage. I love that attack. I love that thorns coming out. But you're gonna get hit by it. Just if you try to dodge out from his attacks, basically. Because I was in his face and... Apparently I didn't get hit by them. Yeah, that's, that's a nice attack. That's a beautiful attack. Okay, the guy moved. I don't know where is the map. It was a mini map here. Ah, okay, this one. Uh, yeah, so the guy is not here anymore. I guess he went to that uh, blacksmith. Uh, or sound. See if. Yeah, so basically all all of the not collectibles, all the things you in, ingredients you can find on the map and all these things will respawn as soon as you leave a dungeon. I think leaving a dungeon, let me rest, check that as well. Leaving a uh, dungeon, I think counts as a rest because all the enemies were like spawned. Let's see. Now I rested. Yeah, so all the plants basically are back, I guess. Yeah, this one as well. So if you need more ingredients, you can exploit this. You know what I mean? Flower, flower of detoxification. Yeah, but fuck it. Let's move to the... The... Main. I don't mind exploring, but... Fighting the same enemies in the same area is like a bit... Worthless. In case you want to level up, yeah, I get it. You can teleport to an area where you will have like tough opponents and to just kill them, but I really don't plan to do that. You cannot forge that kind of chisel and caliper in all of my cine. Many thanks. If it weren't for you, my master would have surely skinned me alive. Speaking of your master, you see, it seems he was kidnapped. A few weeks ago, some people offered him a job. I didn't like them from the very beginning. There was something sinister in their eyes. They tried to persuade him to take the job, but my master is renowned for his high principles. He refused. So last night, they came here and kidnapped him, put a torch to the smithy, and I, I couldn't do anything. Do you know where they could have taken him? They mentioned a camp in the mountains beyond the bridge and the village. I wanted to go and rescue him, but I, I thought it would be better if I looked after his things. It is not safe around here. You are wise to stay here. Do not worry. I shall bring your master back. Thank you, and take care. These people are dangerous. Oh, so now we can upgrade weapon. This is like plus 64. That's a good weapon. It's a, I think it was a one-handed. Or maybe it was a two-handed axe. I don't know. We're going to see. But this sounds interesting. Because uh, I'm not going to upgrade weapons right now. I'm going to focus on armor. Because if we upgrade the armor. We're going to have like better resistance overall. You know. So. In a mix with vitality build. This will be make us like the ultimate tank I guess. Gonna upgrade this better because this is has loads of damage right? and look like his one handed weapon. So, I want to upgrade because we don't have any bronze shards. And okay, there is. but can we upgrade? But I yeah, fuck it, let's 
Let's see, because anyway, I don't know what that... The thing with me is like, I don't know what that... Uh, dark damage is really doing. Maybe it's uh, some type of damage over time, we're gonna see. But the thing is like, look, the difference. Basically, if you upgrade this, you're gonna get a plus 5. If you upgrade this, you're gonna get a plus 10, you know what I mean? If you upgrade this, you get a plus 8 and a plus 6. Yeah, so that's why I, I was upgrading this one, basically. Shields are like... I don't know, I'm not planning to use shields, item crafting. Okay, so we can, we can craft items now. Okay, go through go through the bridge. So basically we we have a new mission. Crafting, okay. So we can craft some smoked meat. Have some dark. Okay. Bring throw it to uh, throw it to deal physical damage. To slowly recover a small amount of health. Okay, so beside potions, we have. Uh, okay, let's see how we can. Irenated and slightly sl uh, speeds up energy regeneration for a long time. Uh, for the time being, we are fine with that. What's this doing? Petard. What a awkward name, bro. Petard in my uh, language means like. Firecracker, but in the same time we call uh, like in a slang we call bitches better, you know, like or firecracker. But yeah, I guess they are bombs mainly because they look like bombs, you know. This is a poison bomb, a fire bomb, and a, a physical damage one. Let's equip this one. The Port of Hills will last visitor shrine. Yeah, this one is sick. This can be a, an escape, you know. Remove poison, temporary increase resistance to bleeding, to poison. We can apply it to... In, yeah, we're gonna have like poison weapon, uh, poison on a weapon. And we're gonna have... Yeah, uh, let's do... No. Let's do this, because I'm curious how poison works. I said everything. Please bring my master back. Let me know if you need any supply. Yeah, yeah, no worries. No worries. We're gonna let's check the map first, cause I know last time I missed look this one. Let's explore this, and after move on, cause I don't want to come back later, you know, to do that things. And beside that, I I want to see what we find inside. Because they look like some basement. It's looking like it's taking you to the basement or something. Or a under the building base. Ah, it's a cellar basically. So. Okay, let's see a map. Ah, we don't have a map in this one. Uh, we have one, two archers. Oh, but these weapons are lovely, bro. A uh, skeleton. Yeah. Try to pull them in this one. Is they all like stuck up, you know what I mean? So we're gonna reduce the the chances of them surrounding us. Oh my god, I hate this. Shielded guys. The shielded guys are like so annoying because sometimes you just hit them for two damage, you know, with like. And imagine that was a heavy. Oh, we have a new shield. We're gonna check that shit later. I wanna check weapons because weapons I wanna. I wanna switch them a bit. Uh, besides, as soon as we get like more weapons, we can. Uh, we can definitely try, you know, like more of them to see which ones are like most effective ones. That's another one. 
I like the way they are having this uh, synergy. What? From where the fuck you came, my friend? Yeah, archers are are dog shit in this one because not not in, in a bad way. Like they are like outputting a lot of damage, and they are basically stun locking you from distance. So I'm trying to get rid of them as soon as possible. But just to get something in between him. Between the archer and the and you in yourself, because if you get like for example the beside the wall or something, the arrows won't penetrate the wall, you know. So you'll be safe. Wall wielder. Let me lock on to him. Because if he's uh, as fast as I am, he can stun lock me like... Let me heal. Yeah, now we are drinking potions way faster. I think the, the time is like halved now, you know what I mean? So that's definitely worthy. Yeah, so apparently these ones are like just small... These cellars are like just a couple of rooms, you know. It's like a basement actually. With a couple of rooms inside, some loot. I think we got a new weapon there. Let's... Yeah. Go outside, check it. I missed that barrel over there. one looks like Kill the they are decent damage wise they are like decent but the thing with them is like the cleave is not like a 360 cleave the first light attack it's looking like it's sideways Beside this, oh, I love that one. I love the third attack on it. Check this. So one, two, three. So that uh, reminds me of if you guys played like um, what's the uh, Witcher Two. Not even if you played it, but if you saw the trailer when Le Letho is on the boat. And he's uh, assassinating the king, basically. He's gonna... As soon as he's getting into the boat, some, some archer is attacking him. And he has that spin rolling. Oh, fuck, bro. This guy is quite... Sick. He's doing like a dodge roll or something like that. And as soon as I saw that... Uh, ooh, Attack set on it. Uh, it took me straight to death. Get me that son of a bitch. Apparently, their life is regenerating extremely fast. Yeah, I'm feeling way better with this one. I really don't like the move set on the other one. The attack set on the other one. The m it's not. It's not. It's not worse. But it's slower than this, and uh, because this cleaves 360 around you, I want to get up here. What the fuck we can get up? Apparently we can. The camera is pretty shitty. I, I don't mind it like a lot, but sometimes, imagine you can have something under this building, beside this building, it's in our side, yeah? You have a chest there, and if you don't pay attention, you can just miss it, like, you know what I mean? It's a bit, uh, a bit awkward. Let's explore this, because I don't know what's here. 
Oh fuck, we have the archer. We can go for the archer. Oh my god, how many? Get him. Yeah, I can jump. Way too heavy then. That dual wielder is sick, bro. I won that attack set. You saw that uh, that was like a chain combo. Yeah, but mine is better. But that uh, that one it was pretty decent. We have something behind this. It was just 11 gold like so we have an archer there we are leveling up so fast in this game it's quite uh, So we've been here already, let's move on. I think we explored everything in this area. We can move on with the main quest, I guess. We just got like... A couple of... Weapons, basically. So these ones are totally worth it, because you can complete them like extremely fast. Let's see if we can upgrade any more weapon. Give me your money faster. So oh, what's this area? Let me equip this. What's this scaling with? Let's see, okay. okay. This one looks interesting. This is the heavy, and the zone attack is like. Okay. Let's see the damage on it. Yeah, let's move on, fuck it, because I don't want to explore like too much now. I just need a shrine to... Mercy. To level up. And uh, I want to see how uh, the two... We usually, you know, on souls like game, two hand weapons are like OP as fuck, you know, big, big amounts of damage, so... I hope in this one will be kind of the same. We have nine, so we miss... Yeah, the tail. We need one more point, and we can like resurrect ourselves. Okay. Here. Okay, we have some loot. This one looks like a ogre. Oh, oh, he has like a combo there. This one, yeah, that's the thing with the weapon. The two-hand weapon is like consuming way too much energy. Damage is 170. It's not even a lot. Let me try something. Mixed with this. We are 140 and just one connect. Oh, yeah, way better, 200. And I'm gonna stay with this and they, this one is fast at least, you know what I mean? 
So you want to wait here. Yeah, we have some men on me. I don't know how many of them are. He'll beat me bloody. He's almost dead, this guy, you know, and he'll beat me bloody. Okay. No, these weapons are definitely... I don't know what's that dark damage. But you saw that that guy just died from one heavy attack. Okay, another seller. We need to check for enemies. Okay, so we have two guys. Let me focus the dual wielder. Oh, we have another one. This is an archer. This is a... Or something. Uh, another thing which I recommend you, as soon as you get into an area, try to prioritize the, the enemies, you know? So for me right now, it's like archers, dual wielders, you know? As soon as I'm seeing them, I'm like just engaging them, because you want them dead. Archers, archers are like the most annoying ones. Dual wielders, I think if they manage to hit you... Oh, we have a lion now. Oh, I don't want to kill this guy. Yeah, I just love lions. Yeah, like just to... Too bad as you know to kill. We don't need really to kill them, but... He was attacking us, so fuck it. Okay, so we... That... Apparently here is something I missed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to come back, you know, to do the content again. Because I want to do a full run, complete run on it. This one has some armor on it. Damage-wise, we are fine. Oh no, the second one, okay, I saw it. Okay, so basically we need to be careful on that attack. Because sometimes he swings two times. Okay, this one looks like this one. That one's like a large cleave. Again. I think he wanted to do the, the second attack, but we just killed him. Bad news. I'm getting better at this. Rare weapon. I'm gonna check on weapons soon. Usually, if I'm happy with some some weapons, and I consider the damage fine, I'm not even checking for for uh, what I I just. But because this one is like a. Yeah, this is seems to sell. Yeah, I guess this one is better because it's scaling with strength and endurance. And this one scales just with yeah yeah. yeah. Just uh because we have a base of ten on each attribute. That's why I think it's better that uh, this normal one. Fuck this. But one is more than enough here, yeah, so now we unlocked, we can revive ourselves. We are on six potions. I really don't want to respawn the enemies on the map, you know what I mean? If we are like... Please bring my master back. Yeah bro, I know. We need to bring your master back. Let's see, if we upgrade this, it's 11. Nah, but it's not worth it. The two-hand weapon is like a bit... I don't know. I don't find it uh, ex 
I don't know, like exception or weapon or something which we need to use, you know what I mean? This is adding plus 10, right? And it's one hand. And this is adding 11. But the the attacks on it are like just plus 10. I can try to combine. Let me see if I'm combining this axe. Yeah, it's pretty slow and the cliffs are like frontal, you know, more than this one. Yeah, this one is way better. Okay, so we can go from here. The chubby spiders. I like them. The spiders, the chubby scorpions. I like them a lot. They look nice. I still don't know what that dark damage is really doing. Trying to go underground. I hit him just with one of the weapons, but still, though. I'm not really complaining about it. Okay, so we missed something up here. Another cellar. Hopefully we're gonna find some uh, some decent loot in this one. forgetting I think they're called drachma or something and I'm gonna call them gold fuck that shit this game reminds me a bit of Assassin's Creed Odyssey if you played it it's oh, okay. it's like a total different like isometric, it's like RPG action RPG isometric shit in it, you know, because that one is like a third person. We have another ogre or so I'm gonna call them like trolls, I guess. Even though they look more like an ogre or something. Oh, I saw that second swing, but... Okay, so we can... Uh... Even with this HP, we can still take huge amounts of damage. Come on, bro! I didn't, I didn't saw that second one coming. To be fair with you. Okay, so he's dead now. I'm getting better at this. The poisonous sword, short sword. So that will be interesting, let's see. Okay, so the damage is slightly lower. We have more physical damage, but we we will lack that. Uh, but at least this cause poison. Yeah. 
That's interesting. What the fuck I just did here, bro? Oh my fucking god, my guy is stuck now. And we have no enemy. But I hope it won't. Fucking, I hope it won't respawn all the enemies, bro. You know what I mean? Because I don't wanna. Oh, okay. So I got stuck earlier into, into this. Oh, okay, but here you're gonna get stuck. Yeah, so I don't know who the f this. Let me see. Yeah. They have. Uh, they had the shittiest game testers on this game, apparently. If they didn't spot this. If they didn't spot it, this shit. It's good the unstuck button is like, I swear to god, it's like one of the best unstuck buttons I ever saw, I swear to god. It's like just he sending you back to the recent valid position without respawning anything. Something's blocking the passage. The yeah, so actually, they have uh, the. I just love the the unstuck button. is like so effective. I think it's the most. I don't know. It's a, one of the most effective unstuck buttons I ever saw. Because you know, on most of the games, you need to teleport back to some previous checkpoint, basically. This looks like a boss fight. Yeah. By the order of Menelaus, the road to Mycenae is closed. Wait a minute. I recognize your armor. You're one of the Myrmidons, am I right? I always dreamed of crossing swords with one of you, and finding out whether what they say about you is true. I have no time for that, and I have no quarrel with you. I kindly ask you to let me go. Did I hear you right? You think I'm a weakling? Or maybe you're just a coward? Draw your weapon and face me, right here and now. It seems like you leave me no choice. No warrior has managed to defeat me yet. I hope you won't disappoint me. Yeah, but that's the thing. I hate retards, and this guy is acting like a fucking idiot. I swear to God. I can understand we had to fight him, but our guy was like, "Bro, I just need to pass the bridge." You know what I mean? I don't want to fight you. They could, they could make a, like a way better, I don't know, dialogue in this. This guy looks like he's very, he has some potential danger, this one, I, I spotted it earlier, I think that one can, can be pretty, Pretty shitty if we we manage to dodge all of them, that would be fine. But if he will uh, he will attack me and connect that shit, oh yes, two in a row. I don't know how I dodged that. I don't know. This guy has like so much poison resistance. So I, I traded with him there. Swing that weapon like a giant. What did you just say? You heard me, right? Okay, so like I guess this is healing him. This. Yeah, this is healing him. What is healing him like? Yeah, well, let's pull him out. Fuck you up. Yeah, so he has like a, a AOE heal. It reminds me of Consecration Aura from the Paladin. Which is not really healing, he's doing like damage. He can block as well. Okay, 
so we can cancel that attack. Yeah, but we have like to our ish people is so big. Yeah, let's start fighting him like properly because I'm already tired of this guy. Okay, he can block with that shield. Good job. Let's try to kill him in the That was a nice a chain light. It just was just chaining two lights, which were like doing quite a bit of damage. Okay, he has the spot. Okay. I'm just fast face tanking him. I don't give a shit. It is in your hands. Kill or spell. I'm gonna kill him because he was a fucking dickhead. I'm gonna kill everyone anyway. You could have been remembered as a great warrior. Now you'll end up as a crow thief. What is the crow has fallen? Shrine. I don't seek trouble. I'm just cutting down this. Oh, we have a new shield, a uh, purple one. What the fuck is this woman doing, bro? She's chopping a tree with a fucking sledgehammer. Are you kidding me? Can you guys see that? What the fuck is wrong with you, my dear? Uh, you can try to come over here and dig a fucking tunnel. Instead of doing that, I don't know if the I don't want to sound misogynistic, but uh, you see, giving look at her. See, you can spot that's a sledgehammer, like something similar to us. It's like a hammer with a long handle, nothing more. But how the fuck you're gonna? Cut down a tree with that. Don't kill me. Bro, I was just petting that cat and now you are telling me to don't kill him. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't wanna sound misogynistic, but uh, that happens when you when you give women some tools, you know. So let's see, we have three skill points now. Hmm. Let's focus on more health. Let's go to this one as well. Will be the ultimate that in this game, I swear to God. But what's wrong with the Citizens in this game, bro. All of them are running as soon as they see me. I don't get it. Why? Okay, I was fine if I was attacking him. Yeah, it was making a lot of sense, you know. That guy just flew over, bro. I think he flew over the map. He landed somewhere co close to the the <laughs> quest, I think. I saw a bag up there. Spears, I'm not a fan of spears. And it... So poison actually is doing like four damage, ticking like Quite fast. I got myself into trouble. We have this large guy. Try something with him after. Oh, so we can deny damage if we press our skill. If we time our skill like... You saw, I, I just pressed Q. So basically, 
If I'm timing it well, I can deny damage. Yeah, let's see something. I wanna, uh, as I said, I, I wanna see if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna just drop him down. Yeah, that's easy. If you fight just one of them, it's easy. Question mark there, okay. I'll beat you Dual will do. Come here. Come here and beat me bloody you fucking idiot. I hate, I don't know if you are like listening to what the fuck they are saying. Everyone is calling you a fucking bastard, a, a son of a whore. And every single one thinks they have like a big dick shit. Don't kill what me. the fuck is there wrong? One, two, archers, three archers. Uh, do we want to engage this? Kill the boss. Let's see. I think my health pool is like... We need to test it. Okay, so archers can still... Connect shits. Okay, I need to is isolate them. Somehow. Fucking hell, the spear guy was like just... Actually, the... The spear guys are not like very bad. They can still do some. Bro, he got fucking smashed. I don't know if you saw that, guys. <laughs> but that motherfucker just. On this rock, on this side of the rock, should be like loads of blood. He went like. 100 miles per hour straight into that shit. Get me that son of a bitch. Get the son of the bitch. You see, these guys are like fucking swearing on you. Like, I don't know why they disrespect us so much. Fucking dickhead. Yeah, he and explore. I think this one. What the fuck is that? Like a grief one. Can you see what he has? Cause like, when you fight just one enemy, oh, so he can kick back. Okay, backward. Like, um, yeah. So basically, when you fight a single um, opponent, I wanted to say it's very easy, but this guy is just unlocking a bit. I wanna see if I can poison him. But yeah, fight, fighting a single opponent is pretty easy. Okay. Poison ticks are quite decent. I'm curious if we upgrade the, our weapon. Our poison weapon. If uh, the damage will increase, the damage over time will increase. Or at least if the tick rate will increase or something will scale with the level of the weapon. Yeah, but this guy is pretty tanky. Fight one of these griffons with a couple of enemies around you, it's quite tricky. And uh, beside that, as soon as I saw the grief one, it gave me like Witcher 3 vibes, you know, when you fight the grief one on the white door hit, I guess. I don't remember exactly the location, but uh, gave me like Witcher 3 vibes on a way or another. He was. Oh, we are already, already too far away. I saw here anyway, I saw something. It's like a question mark. Here, please, I need your help. Girl, I should check what this is about. 
Who are you? Are you lost? My name's Ianthi. I'm waiting for my brothers. They went into that cave across, but they're still not coming back. What were they looking for in there? They said that they found something extraordinary in there, and that, surely, I wouldn't believe it when I saw it. They insisted I go with them. Everything happened so fast. I remember them suddenly screaming, and I ran away. I rushed out of the cave, but I couldn't find them anywhere. I don't know for how long I've been waiting for them. Please, find my brothers. I'm afraid something has happened to them. I will go look for them. Meanwhile, you stay on those rocks. You'll be safe there. Okay, so apparently... Her brothers went into this cave. Oh, some fucking ogres in there. Fuck. I, uh, I guess my timing on that dodge was pretty shitty. Okay, I need to, I need to manage slightly better the energy. I need to stop locking target. Okay, so we can poison them as well. Yeah, these weapons are decent. And uh, I like the poison damage, it's like, not a large amount of damage, you know, but it's like a decent sustainable damage, you know, over time. Gonna, oh, two of them, oh, fuck this shit, bro. Let's see about this fight, but... Oh, actually we can... Kill them both here. Yeah, but that's the thing is the timing they have. One is hitting, the other one is like spectating. After that, the other one is hitting. So it give me gives me like no window to attack. Like I don't want to be catched in between them. Let's see how how long it will keep him like poison. Yeah, it's not a large amount of damage that poison. It's not like. But at least he's like... He's making them more visible to you. He's looking the, like they fucking... Uh... I'm curious if you can stack like poison with fire. You know what I mean? And maybe that will... That will be like a nice combo. Oh, fuck. So I think this... His bodies are his brothers. His, uh, but it's awkward because they look like they've been here for quite a long time. Okay, so we managed to defeat them. May the ferryman be your soul. Uh, I see some chains. Lead your soul. Won't find anyone alive in here. 
I need to go to Yanti and tell her what I discovered. Okay. So apparently, I don't know if they've been here like just lately. You know, I it didn't look like as they were like skeletons. You know what I mean? So two bronze fragments. Okay. I was expecting a badass weapon to be fair with you. Oh, by the way, we picked that shield up from that uh, guy from the bridge. Sun shield. It, uh, it, I don't know, causes burn. Okay. But I like the resistance or damage reduction on it. You have 84 physical resistance. You have 100% dark and 100% divine. And scales with strength and wrath. That shield is interesting. These two guys look like they've been here like for a long time. I don't know what's the deal with. Let's speak with her sister. Where did she go? She couldn't have gone too far. Maybe she left some tracks. I don't know what to do here. I can move on, I guess. I don't know where that girl went. Give me your money, bastard. <laughs> the poison is interesting. It, it's doing like a decent amount of damage, at least to humans. I don't know where that girl went, you know what I mean? So. Okay. Fire and death devour this land. How many fucking skeletons, bro? Guys, there are like too many. I don't wanna. I wanna see there are like too many because we can like go through them like pretty fast. But uh, yeah, they were like quite a large pack of them. We leveled up again. This is a recruit only entry. Understood? I want to uh Enlist. I've seen the sly likes of you. As soon as I let you pass, you'll start snooping around the supplies. You probably stole that armor off someone too, huh? Fuck off, you loafer. Or you'll get an arrow between your eyes. This man is a stake. Okay, so apparently we cannot pass from here. I think we are exploring too much right now, to be fair with you. Where the fuck we are? What the fuck? Yeah, we went quite far away. I'm still looking for that girl, if you remember. Because uh, Achilles says something like maybe he left Give some trucks. I think no one has visited this place for a long time. No, oh, I heard the noise, it was just the deer. I was thinking some. Oh, they have a, a dog as well. Because we need to go back to them. Okay, so now it's just me and this guy. This is easy. I'm gonna knock him down like... I guess this is the easiest way. Oh, he got decapitated. Are you kidding? And his head went straight to fire like... That was nice. Vicious X. What's this? Oh, this 
this is this is sick. This scale with endurance, strength, and ray. Ra. So equip. But maybe if I'm if I'm keeping this and I'm equipping this in the main hand. Okay, we are still slow. Fish bag. This is 64, this is plus 30, bro. And we are like fast again. Let's see now what's the damage on. Okay, so this one is still better. I think we'll upgrade this. Yeah, maybe we're gonna upgrade this one. This looks like a go for. Yeah, okay, we loot everything here. We explored quite a quite a bit today. It's good we unlocked. Anyway, you know that's how I'm seeing it. Oh fucking hell! Bro, they are annoying. These guys are annoying. Fucking hell. I'm hitting you. They don't give a shit. They don't... They really don't get stun locked. What the fuck is here, bro? I need to get... What the fuck is an invisible guy there? Oh my fucking god, I almost died there, are you kidding me? I've been one-hitted by that guy. And check my HP, who the fuck is that, bro? Guys, I'm gonna leave this area, fuck this shit. <laughs> I think we expo we are exploring, we are like way too... So, we went too far with exploration, I guess. Because, uh... Okay, so we have two chests here and this. I don't know who the fuck is this motherfucker. But this motherfucker was invisible, I guess. Because suddenly I saw like... Like, uh... I don't know, I saw a slash. At least one slash. I think there were like two. And you saw that awkward noise. I think was some type of fucking enemy. We can teleport. Let's teleport by, back here. Let's go and upgrade that axe. Where was the blacksmith? Wait a second, because we need to see... I want to see that X, what's... Uh, that blacksmith was supposed to be... I think he was here. But apparently he is not here anymore. What the fuck is the deal with him? I hope he didn't get into trouble again or something. Or they didn't remove it from that shit, because I really want to test this weapon to upgrade it. Essence of darkness, okay, so. We don't have that yet. Oh yeah, the guy is still here. That's good. Please bring my master. Yeah bro, I'm gonna bring your master back, but wait because I'm exploring too much. Plus twelve. Plus another 12. Let's upgrade this as well because I, I really wanted to see if the poison increases. And let's check it now.
Yeah, the damage, damage is quite... The thing is, like, I'm using poison against the against the scorpion, you know, and I don't think we're gonna work. Ah, it's working. But I don't know. Sounds a bit ridiculous. How the fuck you're gonna poison a scorpion, bro? They are the poison, like. Imagine, yeah, maybe. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go too far into this. If you can poison skeletons, it's ridiculous as well. For me, I don't know if you're. It's a scorpion. It's a poisonous motherfucker. But maybe it's a corrosive poison or something. Who knows? Uh, yeah, but I think for the time being, I'm gonna leave it here. And uh, yeah, we have like a couple of more points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points, and we finish this as well. And after we can go for the lion, I guess, because the lion is giving us the. Yeah, I think lion is the next go for, because I remember we have. Which attack and a combo increase the damage dealt. This will be nice. And killing an opponent is or yeah, this is like giving us more. It's like a you know, like a life steal. This is interesting too, yeah. Uh thanks again for watching and uh, thanks for your patience, guys. And I guess I'm gonna see you in the next one.